morning. Everybody is having a happy Sunday morning. Um, I don't think it's going to rain as much today, hopefully. But uh, let's, let's pray and get started. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for your word, which we can study and come to know you better. Thank you that you left it and that you preserved it for us, um, for our perfection, and uh, we can better know who you are. Thank you, Lord. Help us to learn and to apply it to our lives. Be with us. Amen. Okay, we're going to we're going to start uh, Colossians 1.25. Colossians 1.25. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. So Paul was made a minister um, or uh, somebody was somebody to go out and to uh, somebody was sent out by God to give him to give a message that God has and uh, for for the people's benefit. We'll go to Romans 12, 3 through 8. Romans chapter 12, verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man, that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according to according to as God hath uh, dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Christ, and every one member one of another, members one of another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy, according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our, on our, minis on our ministering, or he that teacheth on on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhort exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity, he that ruleth let uh, with with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. <clears throat> so we have uh, so. Paul was made a, a minister. Uh, God made him made him a minister, or um, uh, in or, in order to go uh, go spread out the word of God, and he makes all of us has different things that he has for us, um, but uh, and we're all one body in 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 a unity. But there are many different uh, many different things that we can all do. Uh, Ephesians 4. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. Ephesians 4, 11. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors, and some teachers 
for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of man and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. <clears throat> but speaking the truth in love may grow up in him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which uh, every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. So again, we have we have all these different things, and it goes beyond what the what the lists are, because there is so much that we can bring. We can that we bring when we come together. As the different parts, we bring our different uh, personalities and our different, uh, our different, just natural things that we do to one another, and so we can we can bring all this in, and it may we may not seem always that important, but God, but God has an importance for all of us. We all we all lift each other up, and we come together so the body can be. Uh, perfected and unified, uh, but not just not just a unity of ourselves, but a unity for Christ, for God. First Corinthians twelve. First Corinthians twelve twenty five. that there should be no more schism that there should be no schism in the body but that the members should have the same care one for another whether one member suffer all members suffer with it or one member be honored all members rejoice with it now ye are the body of Christ and one members one members in particular <clears throat> And God hath set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, third teachers, after that miracles, and then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all the workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healing, do all speak in tongues, do all interpret? But covet earnestly the best gift, gifts, and yet showeth I unto you a more excellent way. So we have an emphasis of the part of the fact that um, although we have differences amongst one another in different ways that we look at things and different things that we do. We are all we all are there to edify one another and build each other up. We're there to we we challenge each other in certain ways, but not but not ways that break us apart, but ways that can bring us closer to God and closer to one another as we get closer to God. And we should all uh, and when we have um, when when somebody has a hurt or a pain and stuff. It should, it should, we should all kind of suffer a little bit as a piece of our body, uh, the body of Christ suffers. And <clears throat> so we should uh, suffer and rejoice with one another as good and bad happens and grow in, in more of a unity, not only with each other, but remember it has to be unity in Christ. Um, it's easy to have, it's sometimes, it's hard to have unity, but 
not all unity is good if it's not centered on the right things. We'll go back to Colossians 1 verse 26. Colossians 125. We're working through the chapter. Yeah, I couldn't remember exactly what you were at. Linda was asking. Ah, okay. Yes, Colossians 1. We're, we're just finishing off the rest of chapter 1. So start. we started with 25. Now we're going to 26 and 27. Colossians 1, 26. one twenty six and twenty seven even the mystery with which have been hid from ages from generations but now is made manifest to his saints to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles which is Christ in you the hope of glory so in uh, there were through from before the foundations, God had a plan. He knew what we would do. He knew Adam and Eve would 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 mess things up, and he knew that uh, more would need to be done. But the but being being perfect and being all knowing, he knew what he what needed to be done from the beginning. So he set out, and in the Old Testament, we see bits and pieces, and it kind of hidden and sort of. It, it, it it's there what he would do sort of but in in the new testament after when christ came the whole thing was revealed the whole mystery was revealed so we'll go to galatians 2 galatians chapter 2 verse 15 We who are Jews by nature and not sinners of the Gentiles, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, uh, is therefore Christ a minister of sin? God forbid. For if I build again the things which I destroy, I make myself a transgressor. For I, through the law, am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless uh, I live, uh, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness comes by, by the law, then Christ's Christ is dead in vain. So we can't be justified throughout the Old Testament. They they tried to follow the law the best they could, and God, knowing they couldn't follow it, gave them things that they needed to do in order to turn in order to be right with Him and and be able to walk in in His uh, in His forgiveness. And in the New Testament, we see the fulfillment of all of that with Christ. And so we no longer, uh, we can't walk by works, no matter how hard we try. We can't walk by works, but we can, but uh, Christ lives in us. His death, his resurrection accomplished in us believing and putting our faith in it and, uh, and trusting upon that gives us our, gives us the ability for us to walk, to walk by faith. Uh, Ephesians 3. 
Ephesians 3, verse 1. For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me un, unto you word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afar afore in few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I am made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, who am uh, less than the least of all saints, is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and make and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God, according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ, uh, Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness to access with confidence by the faith of him. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you which is your glory. So the the mystery from the Old Testament was made was made manifest by Christ. It was brought by Christ. And he, and and not only the Jews, but also the Gentiles have the ability to come to God. The, a great blessing that we certainly have, that God had a greater thing in mind. He showed a, he showed a little bit in the Old Testament, but then in the New Testament went far and beyond where they, where they thought. And so it was, uh, and so there was some some surprise that uh, that God had had it for the Gentiles to much much delight, especially for us, that we can be brought to Christ, and we don't, and it's not through some special um, group, but it's through Christ and His blood. Okay, we'll go back to Colossians we'll one twenty eight. Colossians 1, verse 28. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. So as we have the mystery of Christ, and, it's, uh, and it shows the glory of that uh, that is in Christ and the and the uh, and that the fact that us Gentiles and that that's our that can come to Christ and that we can uh, grow and um, become part of the body although we are we are we're we're Gentiles we can have we can hope in the glory of Christ and uh, we can go out and warn every every man of the coming judgment and the coming and the coming things uh, with with all wisdom and the wisdom is from the word of God for the perfecting for our for for the perfection in Christ 
2 Corinthians 5.10. Second Corinthians five verse ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. So we're all going to uh, we're all going to stand uh, before the judgment seat of Christ, and there will be. And um, in Christ, we know all things are forgiven. In Christ, we have, we have the ability to come to God with confidence. But without, they will, they'll have to give an answer for all things. And, we, and they don't, uh, there is no good answer for it that anybody, any of us have for the things that we do. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 1. Second Thessalonians one five which is a manifest token of the righteousness of the righteous the righteous judgment of God that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which ye also suffer. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who are troubled, uh, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus Christ shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with, uh, with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. So we can go out and, and warn every, every man and woman and every person that there's a coming judgment to come. And outside of, outside of Christ, there is no hope. There, we have no ability to be able to follow God at all. But in Christ, we have all things. In Christ, we have the ability to be forgiven. We have the ability to walk with God. We have the ability to grow in, our, in, the, in the perfection of Christ. Uh, Philippians 3. Philippians 3.12. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if, if that I may apprehend that for which also am I, I am apprehended of Christ. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ. Let therefore as many as be perfect, thus uh, be thus minded, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. So Paul mentioned that he he is not he's he's not perfect but he's he's striving after the perfect he is striving to obtain the the perfection that God has for all of us the mighty work and perfecting of us in Christ and uh, he pressed towards the mark the pressed towards Christ the higher goal the higher way always towards Christ 
2 Corinthians 3.18. Second Corinthians three eighteen. But we all with open face beholding in the glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. So although so we look as we uh, as as we look kind of like in a mirror, we look at ourselves, and although we are not of Christ, um, God's looking to change us little by little, uh, bit by bit, try and change us more into His Son and His His way, into His ways to follow uh, God when He uh, Christ when He was here on earth only did the will of the Father, and and we as being. Um, Fellow, fellow heirs and uh, joined with Christ, we seek to, to more and more be perfected in Christ and to do the will of Christ, which, uh, which just uh, shows the will of the Father for us. Hebrews 13. Hebrews thirteen twenty. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever amen so god's working in us uh, in every way to to perfect to perfect his good work he he saves us uh, we're we're saved not by the works that we do but we're saved for the good works that god has for us we're saved from our sins and saved to do the good works and to be perfected in Christ. So we need to remember to always strive for Christ, to strive for his ways and to stay focused on the things that God has for us. We get distracted amongst everything Satan has to throw at us. We get we get distracted and we we can get off on so many things and before you know you haven't spent the same time with God and you haven't uh, you haven't grown in the same way but as we come together as we work together and work in unity we may be apart from one another but we we pray for one another we we come together in prayer and in and in learning and and we talk to one another we can still grow in a unity. We have such, we have so much that we have that they didn't have a hundred years ago when they had, you know, the same similar problems. We have so much more that we can, we can have. We don't, God has blessed us so much and we've, we've learned so much um, throughout time, but we can still, so we can still grow in the unity together and grow in the perfection of Christ together. We have, uh, but we need to focus, focus on him and focus on that in which God has for us. Focus on making sure to go out and tell people about Christ. And as it says, warning every man of, of what's, of what's to come and warning of them of uh of of what their of what god has coming but yet uh he has greater things for us in christ we'll finish off with the last one being the last verse in the colossians 1 to finish off the chapter
Colossians 1, 29. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his work, which worketh mightily in me, and me in me mightily. So God's work, we we work and we and we strive for all this. We we strive for that higher calling. We strive on our way, and as we come to God and we look in Him, God has a mighty work to do. It may not. It sometimes may not seem so, but it's a mighty work just to change us sinners into something that God can have in his presence. That in itself is is a great miracle that God has for us. Um, we certainly are not. We've done everything in our lives to to be to be opposite of God, but um God has a mighty work, and he wishes to, to work more and more in our lives. And as we focus on Christ, and it's, it's, no, it's, uh, it's no accident that after, some, after, after one of these, that the greater calling, the greater thing that Paul mentions, the whole next chapter is love. The greater thing that uh, we, he has to mention is that we do this all for the love of God and the love we have for one another. The love that we need that needs to really flow through us needs to be the main focus of our lives, that we love one another and that we show love, not just love, but actually show love. Love is an action, something that we do is we show love to one another and work in the perfecting of the church in Christ. And with that, he has a mighty work to do within us. He's already performed so many miracles within us just in the in where we've come from and where we've gone. He's brought us into so much. And as we work, he's got a, a greater work to do. So we need to remember to work together and to come together in love. We all love one another and we greatly, greatly miss one another, but uh, but we can we can be together as much as we possibly can right now. But we uh, God has a greater truth and a greater way for us than than the other than all of uh, mankind has. We have a closeness in Christ that we don't that others don't have. God is God is good to us. He's good all the time. Well, let's pray. Lord, I just pray that your word will work in us, that it'll work and uh, for the perfection in Christ that that we that we strive for. Help us to to be one body in love and unity with one another, but not just unity in something, but unity in Christ. Unity in you. Help us to continue, prepare our minds and hearts for your word, which, which is to come, and help us to grow in you more and more. You came to show so much, and you did so much. Be with us. Help all those that so many need your help, Lord. Be with them. Thank you. And amen. Have a good rest of your weekend. And uh, see you at some other time.